What's up, bitches? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Should I call? Oh, I shouldn't be calling people bitches. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Q and A. I posted up on Instagram asking you guys what you wanted to see, and we have a few interesting questions. We're gonna go through them today, and I'm gonna go in detail about the questions that you've asked. There's no full time this bitch, so we're gonna get straight into it. The first question is: When feeling completely unmotivated. What's the best things you do to overcome it? There's a tree. Trust me, I feel unmotivated 99% of the time and it's not because I don't like enjoy my job or I don't enjoy hanging out with friends or family or eating good or eating unhealthy. It's just, you just can't help it. Sometimes you feel unmotivated, but especially like unmotivated to go to the gym. Who, who, enjoys, who enjoys going to the gym? Anyone? Anyone? No one? No takers? Only crackheads, alright? I reward myself afterwards. I know it sounds stupid, but at the end of the day, if I want a Red Bull, or two Red Bulls, or a botley of, of Baileys, I'm gonna make myself work for it. If I have shit to do, I'm gonna reward myself for it because that's the only way I feel like I can do it. So for example, today I had a lot of chores to do. Washing, cleaning up my beautiful studio. I don't- I could be fucked. I couldn't be bothered to do it but I was thinking I was like alright if you do this you get two red bulls mm -hmm, mm -hmm. two red bulls and I was like oh oh bet not gonna lie the first red bull I had while I was cleaning but it doesn't fucking matter right I, st I still got it done you have to reward yourself mentally physically you can reward yourself by gifting yourself something after you finish a task especially like if you're doing work if you smash out work hit all your targets hit all your KPIs all that stuff like that, reward yourself, go for a bit Ragino after work. Sit and have a bath, run a bath, look after yourself, you know. If you don't want to reward yourself afterwards, the reason to stay motivated, put some binary tunes on. Bitch, I'm telling you, binary music? That shit does something to your brain. Buy it, buy it, buy it, but... Buy, 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 narrow. buy, narrow. buy, You stupid. Binary. Binary beats. Therapy. Benefits and how they work. I listen to this. When I go for a walk, I'm the type of person that I'll be five minutes into my walk. And you know how some people, like, they just keep going and they're happy. Their endorphins are like, ah, and mine are like, fuck no, I want to go home. Why did I even choose to do this? As soon as you chuck this in, it's like a podcast. You just get, it's just fucking, woof. it's like, woof. for studying, it's really good. It keeps me motivated and it just makes time go by so fast, especially if I don't want to do something. The benefits, it helps reduce stress and anxiety, increases your focus concentration and motivation a lot of this music you can just find on spotify for free like all right the next question is why is your mum so hot and is your mum single next question does size matter i don't give a fuck you shouldn't give a fuck either i feel like if you care about size of something of tatas of forehead size you're an idiot Get offended, I don't care. You shouldn't be judging someone on the appearance or the size of, of how fucking big their booty is. Who cares? Like, it just goes to show more of a person of who you are than of, of that person. What's your favorite meal from your mum? Favorite meal is cream power. If you guys don't know what power is and you're not from New Zealand, it's also called abalone. I'll insert a picture here, but it's a seafood and it's so good. I think it's definitely worth trying. There's this beautiful rainbow shell taste so good she makes the best cream power literally cream power is just the seafood itself you just like bash it up and stuff put it all in there and a bunch of cream some like spring onions and salt it's just so next question how did you get sponsored by red bull when i first announced on twitter that i was sponsored by red bull everyone thought i was lying i was like hmm, i've been working two years straight to get this specific sponsorship because Obviously, I live and breathe Red Bull. I talk about Red Bull every single day, like I am sponsored by them. Like, I'm just absolutely obsessed with them, and they were a really, really big goal. They were up next to partnership on Twitch to get partnered. Like, that's how much I wanted to get sponsored by just them. Just them, only them. A lot of people didn't believe me because when they heard the word sponsorship at Red Bull, they thought of like Ninja. And you know how Ninja got sponsored, and he has like these huge, like, ads and he's going to places and he gets he's got this red bull room and stuff like that's what they thought there's different types of sponsorships in the world you can apply online through their uh website like their country's website being like continuously 
applying through that. I keep getting denied, which is fine. I'll hit them up on their Instagram, uh, their New Zealand gaming Instagram. And there was someone that streamed as well, whose brother worked for Red Bull, and he put in a good word for me. And then they realized, oh, like, oh, okay, this is the girl, blah, blah, blah. One of the guys reached out to me and was like, hey, we'd love to send you a Red Bull fridge and a monthly supply of Red Bull for three fucking years. The day that that email was sent to me, I cried. Yeah, that's how I got sponsored. It was, it was a mixture of word of mouth and a lot of clips from my Twitch channel being shown around to them, me constantly trying to make an effort to always apply and like let them know who I was. Future plans. Plans is I have the studio until April of next year. After that, I'm looking to move out with my partner to a, another house. I'll be doing YouTube full time. I'll be variety streaming a lot more. I would hopefully have a dog in the new house. I really want a dog. Everyone bombard my partner every time he comes into chat bombard him say Kavi needs a dog Kavi wants a puppy don't say I did I want to travel more hopefully COVID will be gone by then it's gonna be lit I'm excited I don't have much plans for the future that's just my average like around about what I want to do other than Lau <laughs> who's your other favorite mod and why is it a duck you don't know what what this means Lau is my twitch moderator in chat he was one of my first ones I've been streaming for two years so he's been with me for two years He's also one of my best friends, like we, I talk to him about everything and anything. He uh, looks after the channel, makes sure chat's behaving and you know does like behind the scenes stuff. So definitely he is my favourite mod. I don't like to favouritise people but everyone knows that this is he's my number one, he's my go to. I don't have a, a next favourite mod, I joke around all the time about who's my favourite mods if, if one person comes in and no, none of the other mods are your fav you're my favourite mod. There's no specific order and how I like my mods or anything. Uh, next question is, when's my next tattoo? My next tattoo is supposed to be finishing off this. See, this is just drawn in, it's not shaded. It goes all the way down to here, where the red flowers are. And um, it's also got this whole backing here, uh, with the mask and everything. So all he did was draw it in and then did the flowers red. I'm supposed to be getting it shaded and it's supposed to come all the way up to here. We're just going to do like maybe some more flowers and some waves and stuff. Uh, so that'll be technically my next tip. Next question is, when are you getting married, my queen? I am not getting married. All right, I'm not getting married. I'm not pregnant. All right, I'm not divorced. Okay, when someone gets a partner, that's all you... Th Chat, as soon as I got a partner, that's all you guys were saying. As soon as I said, oh, I have an announcement, pregnant. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant, okay? And I'm also not getting married. I oh, hope not. I'm not getting married anytime soon. I just got in this relationship. I just got in it. We're like, I think we're seven, seven months in now, seven months dating. And I don't want to get married yet. It's not the fact that because I don't want to like date the person. It's because we just got shit to do. We're too busy and... And we're still figuring each other out and having fun and learning and, you know, doing all the new stuff like moving in together and like figuring out love and wanting to do stuff and, you know, but fuck, like I'm not getting married in time. So Jesus Christ, I'm young. I'm 21. Next question is, who's my favorite actor? My favorite actor has been Will Smith since I could first remember. He's a really good actor. Good person as well. Next question is, when are you going to play Life is Strange? I've been waiting. So I have filmed the first two parts. They're hour longs as well. But for some reason it says that the file is like too big. Even though I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do hour long, two hour long, three hour long videos. So if someone could help me out with that, that would be great. I have the whole, it's all edited and everything. But for some reason I just can't upload it. And I don't know why. So if someone could comment below or just message me privately and just try and help me out. That would be great. Thank you. Next question, what makes you stream every day? What's your daily motivation you give yourself? It's because I fucking enjoy it. Like is literally my therapy i feel sad if i'm sad or if i'm down one day i'll look even more forward to streaming because these are my friends because my community is still quite small i'm lucky because i get to know my chat uh in detail a bit more i have the opportunity to do that while i'm still small um some people be like you're not small you're small but you know in the bigger aspect you know what i mean like my mods my vips a lot of my subscribers even just some normal followers and stuff um, I'll know who, like who they are, some of them I'll know their real names, what they've been up to, what they do for work, I'll ask them how's work going, and it's their therapy too because it's a connection, like we're friends and I get to just sit here, talk shit with them, play some games with them, they get to troll me, I get to troll them, 
is really good and it's they motivate me they motivate me to keep on going i'd be very low we talked about motivation before but they definitely motivate me to do better or to play longer or to branch out do more stuff lots of suggestions and things they tell me to stop drinking so much red bull so i don't have a heart attack you know stuff like that that in itself is a motivator having a job that is like this fucking crazy it's insane and it's great man but before i wasn't that motivated because i saw my statistics were going down and when i mean statistics i mean my my revenue for the month or my follow count or how many people were coming through the stream every stream like all the stats were were like here or just a bit lower as i was uh streaming less and putting less effort into it it just made me more and more unmotivated and seeing that stuff made me really really like feel like shit but i was turning off uh my view count i had to stop looking at the certain website that shows my statistics i feel a lot better as well i'm self-employed the more effort that i put into this the more success will come of it that motivates me even more to do longer streams or to put more effort network more um because it's it's it will show success if <laughs> next question if you're on death row what's your choice for your last ever meal chicken nuggets combo large extra sachet of salt for the fries and sprite also triple cheeseburger large add a uh, big mac sauce fries extra salt for the fries and another sprite also mcflurry mcflurry with the little m ms extra chocolate sauce you know the vibe also apple pie mcflurry oh there's a oh what made me become a streamer i became a streamer because yeah i never went out i never went out and like i'm not talking like clubbing or anything i just never went out and made friends i moved countries to australia with my partner at the time and i didn't know anyone i was just working in hospitality and hospitality is great for making friends but i was just so shy just so shy these guys were a lot older than me and i was the youngest one of the bunch for the majority of like my time in australia so all i did was just work like full time and then come home like play Fortnite for god knows how many hours until i went back to work maybe a cheeky nap every now and then but there was one point where i went to tasmania in australia and i was working up in the bloody wop wops in the middle of nowhere and I, I made a friend that played games as well and he was like damn like you'd be a really good person to stream because it would make you get out there more and you can do what you love and do what you do every day but you can also make some friends and you can network and stuff and you can talk to them you know and it'll get you out of your comfort zone you'll be more confident you're in hospitality anyways you know how to talk to people and they can talk to you and you can all just make friends so that's why i started streaming was to make friends i've made a lot of friends since then now it's turned into a job a full-time job uh next question how long have you been playing video games and what got you interested um i've been playing video games since i could first remember my first console was a nintendo 64 and i had fuck i had donkey kong the yellow the yellow cover donkey kong it's like an open world one i'm pretty sure uh we had star wars i can't really remember that game too well we had that snowboarding game 1080 um we had yoshi we had mario party i think it's called they just released it again like this year like the remade version or something we had mario uh mario. super mario the open world one as well that one was that was probably the one that i played the most and it, recently i've been watching Mizkif, the streamer he's been ba like playing it so good and he does speed runs and stuff it's really cool to like go back down memory lane as well so that was my first console and then i really started getting into gaming later on probably when i was like 10 or 11 uh on xbox and my uncle i grew up with my uncle a lot of the time and he was in the army once he finished up with the army around the age that i started gaming again he came home and he was obsessed with pc gaming loved to play like fps games and just i remember on his steam account he had stacks and stacks and stacks of um of games to play and so he really got me into gaming and pc gaming and stuff like that and then i've just been playing ever since a lot of cod a lot of battlefield love fps games skyrim is my all-time favorite game uh, i've just got a question in from snapchat from one of my friends who says who's your main inspiration to do what you do when i first started watching twitch i was watching the biggest streamers like dr disrespect he is by far my all-time favorite streamer i love his like passion and his his intent he's so intense but he's so fucking good at the game he's really good at entertaining his chat a lot of the time he's just in my eyes he's he's a 
very very great streamer to watch especially for people that are new to like watching live streams and stuff i'd recommend them to go watch dr disrespect he's so funny as well he has good cut scenes and like always there's never a boring moment in his channel and he streams i'm talking for six plus hours every stream it's insane he's got many funny edit edits that he puts live in his stream or if he's tired or if he's having his like food he'll chuck on one of his videos that he's done like a little um skit that he's done he's amazing at the game and he's always doing great information about new guns that are coming out or whatever he's just fucking amazing and i aspire to be that kind of intense and energy one day put in so much effort and blood and sweat into the sh into the stream nick mercs and stuff really cool xqc is a really great streamer as well he's so funny dr just speaks main inspiration but yeah that was all the questions that i'm going to go through today there was a few more but i kind of just had to sift through i thought i'd just pop those ones in there we can do another q a uh, in the next few months coming up so i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you like like it subscribe and yeah have a good day guys i appreciate you corn fritter for me yeah no <laughs> Corn fritter for me. Yeah.